It's the law of supply and demand at work. In the past, mostly teachers had been responsible for coaching duties. But as Arizona continues to grapple with a severe teacher shortage, it's depleting the coaching pool. The AIA says statewide, only half of high school coaches are teachers. 80 to 90 percent at one point were teachers, and now it's, it's dropped dr dramatically. Herman House is the AIA board president and Tucson Unified's athletic director. He says he's working hard to fill the more than 50 open coaching positions in TUSD. However, hiring more teachers won't necessarily fix the problem. Now we have quite a few teachers who are not willing to, to coach. He explains the demand on coaches' time to ensure winning seasons is even greater than years past. One of the issues uh, right now is the requirement for year-round coaching. If, if a, a team or, or a program is not working year-round, they feel like they're left behind. And the pressure to add coaching hours, House says, comes mainly from parents, not districts or schools. The pressure from parents because of, you know, again, the, the, the need to get their child a scholarship and the need to have their child in a, a very successful program and some of the things that they feel that these programs must have. In TUSD, the added hours do not mean extra pay. Coaches receive a one-time stipend ranging from $1,000 to $5,000 depending on the sport. So to help fill coaching positions, House says school districts like TUSD are experimenting with creating alternative positions. For instance, like a pitching coach or a quarterback coach, someone who's able to come in and work uh, as a specialist. Now House says the answer to the coaching shortage is complex. It's a dilemma that districts have faced for decades, making the future unclear. So we are continuing to look into the coaching shortage and its impact. Back to you.